Yo guys, what's up? Let's get started on this last lesson for attack characters. In today's lesson, we're going to be working on the action lines. Uh, we're going to be using different poses so you can see and apply how you can uh, represent this kind of character with the most ease possible. As we said in earlier lessons, the action line uh, action lines in these characters are a mix between dynamism and stability. In this case, in the example I drew before, we can see that stability stands out more than dynamism. But maybe dynamism is going to stand out more in attack position, so that we can give our character an expression of more mobility. Okay? I'm going to remake that posture we started with, so the line that we've just drawn, so that you can see it easier. All right, so here we would have our dummy that I was doing in the early lessons for the first guy. Now you can interpret this much easier um, and see where the articulations are, uh, where the torso area is, where the rest of the axis we have and we can come from. And as we, as we have in that wooden dummy that I mentioned right at the beginning, we're going to position it in a, in a way to get a different perspective. Now we're going to draw an action line that's going to be much more exaggerated, where the archer's position is in attack mode. So what we're going to be seeing right now would be the drawing of an attack position where the archer is kind of pulling back that bow, aiming at something. So to do this, which is a little bit more complex as it's a different kind of weapon that we might have with a sword, uh, you can get real references looking on the internet. Seeing as there are many postures that might be easier for you if you want to take references from them. Alright, uh, it doesn't look amazing, but more or less. Uh, you can get the idea of how the action line works and is present. We can see, without finishing the drawing still, that the action line is curved, seen as the character's posture. What it's trying to transmit to us is that tension and that movement. So it's more curved than the initial pose uh, we started with in this lesson. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the third one. All right, so this is what I was talking about. We want them to have like a skinny kind of body, unlike the other characters, for example. Now, I'm going to move on to the next poses that are still in attack. This one here is a bit more stable. It's still an attack, even though it's a little more relaxed, holding that weapon in front of her. As you can see, the only things I'm working from are the articulations and the, uh, and the rest of the bodies to get that posture.
Yeah, it's a little by little I'm getting this. All right, <laughs> don't worry. As we've just pointed out in this case, I'm going to want to have more of a softened curve that's almost unnoticeable. Um, uh, what I want to give off, you know, maybe is a more of an athletic appearance with a much lighter muscle set. So, yeah, before I drawn the legs and the arms in the tank, and you can see that the muscle was really exaggerated and big. And in this case, with offensive characters, like with this archer, for example, we're going to have much smaller and lighter muscle sets. They're going to have muscles, but they're much like, more tense, much softer. So keep in mind that the speed is something that we have to underline in these characters. As they have this awesome mobility, all right, they have it. What they don't have is maybe, you know, a defensive aspect. So they don't have a lot of mass on them. And then the rest of the figure... Remember that uh, with the shoulders, in the case of the tanks, we would normally have an inverted triangle to make it seem like the structure was much bigger. So here we're going to have to do the absolute opposite. With the archer, for example, her body is designed for speed and lightness and to have a great flexibility. I'm going to draw an example of an archer that's kneeling in some bushes and she's pointing at her objective. Well, with this, we're gonna finish this last lesson. Uh, it's now up to you, whatever you're gonna design or develop for the project. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed these explanations and I'll see you in the next class. See you guys later, bye.